What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and things are getting even spicier as this story about Dave Chappelle and Netflix just isn't going away. Now, I don't know if it's because we're in a slow news cycle here or what exactly the situation is, but it just won't die because, I mean, the media sees this as yet another opportunity uh, for them to wage their culture battles. And for whatever reason, Dave Chappelle's you know, two or three jokes in a one hour special is exactly where they want to draw their line in the sand. Now we've got a new email that leaked out from the CEO of Netflix and more embarrassing details for the virtual walkout. So they're not even walking out of anything. They're just signing off the internet. Hey, do you play video games? Are you thinking about getting a new gaming PC? Check out Meta PCs. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Meta PCs. Now I know you're not gonna run out and quick buy a brand new computer just because I ran this ad, but what I would hope is that you'll keep Meta PCs in mind for a variety of reasons and use my promo code, the quartering, to save big at checkout. Look, Meta PCs offers custom configurations. It has insane parts availability. They're one of the few people I see out there with the brand new NVIDIA 3090 in stock and shipping. When you buy from them, they offer you build photos as they work along. When you receive your PC, it's ready to go out of the box. It's 100% US-based sales and support. And one of my favorite things, it's a veteran owned business. Meta PCs is veteran owned. One of Meta's owners has served in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a purple heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in the Meta Operations Center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. Meta PCs also offers financing. Head on over to MetaPC at MetaPCs.com. Use code THEQUARTERING at checkout to save money and support my content. If nothing else, go configure a PC, build a little wish list, and when you're ready, remember to use code THEQUARTERING at checkout at MetaPCs. I know I'll be getting myself a brand new one before the end of the year. Check out MetaPCs.com. So late last night, there was an email. Netflix boss doubles down on Dave Chappelle's phobia in embarrassing email. Dragging in FPS games is a very odd thing to do as employees plan virtual walkout. Dave Chappelle's latest special, The Closer, contains some very sad and harmful comments faced with widespread criticism, not really, claims over his company's decision to bankroll and air the special. Netflix CEO Ted Ser Serendos has decided to email the entire company twice and in doing so has made things worse. When the show first released on Netflix, a prominent trans employee and two colleagues were suspended by the company for speaking out against Chappelle publicly. Lie. Then crashing a senior meeting. The crashing the meeting is what got them suspended. Isn't it funny how like these people in media just are totally 100% cool lying right to your face? Like literally. Just like, eh, it never happened. That's not why they were fired, but... I'm cool saying that's exactly why they were fired. Anyway, on Friday, Serendo sent out a memo defending Chappelle, saying he's one of the most popular stand-up comedians today. We have a long-standing deal with him. His last special, Sticks and Stones, also controversial, is our most, most watched, stickiest, and most award-winning stand-up special to date. Employees are now planning a virtual walkout in protest. And in response to continued tension, Serendo said decided to double down and issue another memo, first obtained... Uh, by variety, it reads, emphasis mine. We know that a number of you have been left angry, disappointed and hurt by our decision to put Dave Chappelle's latest special on Netflix. Also, we have many new colleagues who want to better understand the principles that guide our team's content choices, especially with challenging titles like this. I mean, really? It's a comedy special. Our goal is to entertain the world, which means programming for a diversity of tastes. The member-centric view has driven our growth over the last 20 years, despite all the competition and remains Netflix North Star today. We also support artistic freedom to help attract the best creators and push back on government and other censorship requests. Our entertain the world strategy bets memos, which we've debted extensively. 
debated, sorry, are clear about both principles, including trade-offs, i.e. that we will always have titles that some members and employees dislike or believe in are, or believe are harmful. With The Closer, we understand that the concern is not about offensive to some content, but titles which could increase real-world harm, such as further marginalizing marginalized groups. Last year, we heard similar concerns about 365 days and bad behavior against women. Now, this is their anecdote. While some employees disagree, we have a strong belief that content on screen doesn't directly translate to real world harm. So this brings up an interesting point. Either video games cause real world bad behavior, which we know they don't, and no legitimate study has literally ever said that. Um, no, that's never been proved. Um, or they don't, right? So um, jokes at... What essentially what they're saying is jokes at the trans community's expense um, uniquely affect them and have real world consequences for them, except all other jokes about all other people do not. That's that's the position that some people have. The strongest evidence to support this has grown huge um, that this bad behavior on screens has grown hugely over the last 30 years especially with FPS games, and yet um, crime has fallen significantly in many countries. Adults can watch this type of stuff or enjoy shocking stand-up comedy without it causing harm to others. I actually agree. I mean, of course I agree with this. This is what the science agrees on. We are working hard to ensure marginalized communities aren't defined by a single story, so we have um, you know, th I, this show, Orange is the New Black, Control Z, all sorts of other shows that I'm assuming are are trans related, I, I assume. Um, key to this increasing diversity on content team itself. In his special, Chappelle makes harsh jokes about many different groups, but of course we only care about one, um, which is the style and the reason his fans love his comedy and commentary. Stand-up comedians often expose issues that are uncomfortable because of the art of the nature of highly provocative. As a leadership team, we do not believe that the closer is intended to incite hatred or bad behavior against anybody. I agree. We have had these operating principles around pleasing our members, heh, giggity, and artistic expression for many years, and the team's decision to put the closer on our services was consistent with them. The variety and quality of our content is what members value the most. Our hope is that you can be hugely inspired by entertaining the world. Here's the thing. Just stop paying attention to these this outrage stuff. You know, just, just, just stop. Just stop with the you know, paying attention to every single thing that people are mad about and stop apologizing for every little thing. What the absolute F? This is one of the world's most popular comedians standing on stage and proudly saying that he's team turf. He's also saying it as a joke. And it's doing an incredible amount of harm. Can you quantify that? Who is this by? Luke Plunkett. I knew it would be. Can you quantify that? This is one of the things that uh, people that say this stuff can literally never do. Can you tell me, can you show me the amount of harm that Dave Chappelle's joke has done? Can you connect anybody who uh, is is uh, watching Dave Chappelle's comedy and then goes then and say he, they were influenced to then be mean to a trans individual? You can't? Shocking. It's doing literally nothing else but delegitimizing and directly attacking an entire group of marginalized human beings. It's making a joke. He also makes fun of white people, but you don't have a problem with that. Why? Dave Chappelle literally says his problem is with white people. He's not doing anything to help the white person brand, but you don't care. So it's only this group that you care about his jokes. So either his jokes cause real world harm, which if what you say is true, then by far the most affected group would be white, white folks facing real world harm due to Dave Chappelle's comedy, or it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. To try and shrug it off by using an anecdotal, unscientific, and unrelated points about video games is to only use actual attacks as a chief metric for harm. Um, actually, it is 100% scientific that we know video games don't cause real-world bad, be bad behavior. You can see this. I've watched this special multiple times, and I'm not hearing where the offense is coming from. Is it because he claimed to be Team Turf? How is that harmful to you or anyone else? You disagree with him. He disagrees with you. We're entering a territory of sterilization. Actually, he kind of called out what would happen. Um, yeah. I mean, I'd give Dave a bit of leeway on jokes. That's not to say they aren't offensive 
Heck, I watched a special and times I looked at the audience and could tell from their faces they were at the very least unimpressed with them. That's jokes. Some work, some don't. But flat out taking a side, Team Turf is a little to no bearing on humor aspect. Okay. I mean, yeah, I suppose if, if you're stretching and, and bending and, and wavering, you know. No real world harm done. Chappelle CEO digs in on Chappelle. It's funny how the media, you know, these. this is what's, what's frustrating is a video game outlet that is used to these absurd um, smears against video games causing real world harm suddenly is pretending like comedy is different and that it, it does have real world harm. By the way, if you haven't yet, there's a red subscribe button down below the video. Please do consider clicking it today. I would greatly appreciate your support. Chappelle CEO under fire for defending Chappelle special. And by the way, we're talking about a few jokes, a few jokes. This is what half the kid lit world sounded like when we complained about smiling enslaved people in picture books. It's always the awesome power of the story until a fave does harm and suddenly stories have no power at all. Can't have it both ways. I mean, I suppose. It's out, here's Out Magazine. Absolutely bewildering. The Netflix CEO, Ted Sarando, says, we have a strong belief that content on screen doesn't translate to real world harm. When last year they released the Netflix original disclosure doc, which included salient scenes like this. Why do I know this person? Reign of Terror. I've seen them. I've said it before. I said again, you can't buy carbon offsets for bigotry. There's no cap and trade for hatred. Oh, this is the Netflix employee. You cannot trash our community one moment and then complain when we think when we don't thank you for the scraps you give us. Hey, nobody's saying you have to be thankful that he that he made jokes at your expense. But let's dial back the rhetoric about it causing real world harm. If you're going to bring it, at least perhaps consider bringing some evidence. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.